For this job you will need a pair of scissors, a flat screwdriver, a biro or pencil and a tape measure. Okay, so you've torn your roller blind. Um, I did this one with scissors, but we'll call it a tear. So if you'd like to come down to the bench, basically what we need to do is we need to cut off this bottom section of the fabric and then we need to put a spline in, refold it and put the base rail back on. Now in this instance, because it's nice and low on the fabric, we can cut right through and do that. The rolls themselves have an extra 200 millimetres of fabric on them. So if the tear is up to 100 millimetres, you can cut the fabric and put, move the base rail up. Okay, anything over 100 millimetres, and I wouldn't be doing it because then the fabric will peel off the roll. All right, so you've already taken the end cap off. So from there, you would slide the base rail off. Flatten down the fabric as best you can. Now from here, using a tape measure, first find out where the tear is and maybe come 10 millimetres above the tear. In this instance, I'm going to come up 40 millimetres. So I work my way around, along and mark out 40 millimetres with the biro. Then I can use the base rail for this job if I wish to. I can use the base rail as a straight edge. So I line it up with my biro marks, run the biro along, so I've got a straight line. From there, following the line, just cut carefully with a pair of scissors. And once you've got right to the other side, you can discard the other piece of fabric. From here, you would need to put a new piece of spline onto the fabric and starting off at one end at the very base of the blind, so right at the end, peel off the backing tape and work your way across until you get to the other side. Cut off the excess spline and then fold the material over. From there, you then have to put the base rail in. Now, the spline will go into this part of the base rail. So what you would do is you just get it started very carefully so that you don't tear the fabric. This one's gonna be a bit difficult. And then, once again, very carefully push the base rail across. From there, you would put your end cap in, and that is the base rail on and the tear repaired.